One of the things that I have been doing as, a, as an interested board gamer is buying things on Kickstarter or funding things on Kickstarter and helping to get them made. Uh, I've been doing this quite a while now, I've got a few games and I'll be doing some playthroughs of those. But this one in particular caught my attention because when we first started with board games, the very first game I bought for me and my children to play was a game called Castle Panic. If you've not played it, it's a very good game. Uh, this isn't a review for that, but it's good. Uh, I still play it with my children. I've got all the expansions and we have hours of fun with it. It's you are the inner castle in the middle of a field inside a wood and lots of monsters, bad guys are trying to attack the castle and you have to defend it. So it's, it's a tower defence game. There are plenty of them out there. That's one that we've enjoyed. I've played it with friends. I've also played it with my uh, scout troop as well. And we've had like hours and hours of fun. Like I say, we still play it with my children. Good fun. So when I saw this one on Kickstarter, which flipped that concept on its head, I was really interested. Uh, I'm not sure it's one I can play with the children yet, because I've not had a chance to, to look at it properly. It arrived today. It is the Goblin King. So I'm going to shine there. The Goblin King is angry. I'm going to unbox it. Uh, I'll do a playthrough later. But for now, enjoy the unboxing video. So. This is the uh, unboxing of The Goblin King is Angry. It's just arrived. This is June 2020. We're in the middle of the COVID-19 lockdown here in the UK. This game's arrived. I've never done an unboxing video before. We'll see how this one goes. As you can see, I haven't even taken the cellophane off. Um, while I'm doing that, I don't know. This is normally part of an unboxing video. <laughs> but there you go. There we go. So that's what's there. Off we come. Right, so first thoughts are, it seems like a nice sturdy box. Um, it's, it's arrived okay, which is good. I'll take the lid off. As I said, it's... Uh, Decent made box, a bit safe. So we've got uh, the rule book. Uh, again, it's quite nice and thick. I think it's told from the perspective of the orcs and goblins, so that's why it's, it's in this format. I, I like the art um, immediately, thinking there's some good art in here. I'll have to tell you later whether it's 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 good for the perspective of actually understanding the game. But again, the quality is good. The printing's nice. Uh, really got I can smell it. It's got it's got that new print smell. That you either love or hate, I suppose. But uh, overall, that looks quite good. Bright, clear, um, sturdy booklet. We've got some tokens here to, to press out. Not sure what they are yet, but if you can see those. Uh, standard fare, nicely printed, decent thickness of cardboard. Uh, as I said, don't know what they do yet, but that seems reasonable quality. Uh, again, some more. There's a, just like a goblin's ear. And uh, a poison bottle, just there. Um, don't know what these are, like barricades of some description. But again, nice thick card. See that? Nice sturdy. Use them out later. And here's the board by the looks of it. Um, usual quality we've come to ex expect from from a board these days. I think. We can fold it and we can fit it on. Just kind of. Um, yeah, there's the bottom of it, there's the top, it's a standard size, um, good quality, what's the back like, yep, nicely printed, if, if it was laid flat on a table that looks okay, nice folding mechanism, again like I say standard these days but good to keep it tidy, um, in the box we've got uh, Various cubes. So just 
I'll just get one out for now. So it's a standard cube, wooden, but looks good quality. Just a quick scan of the packet. Uh, yep, they look good. I can't see any obvious um, discoloration or anything being bumped on them or any any grains or anything. Uh, so I've got more cubes, so they were brown I suppose, it's some nice blue ones, nice colour then, nice distinct colour. Again wooden, first glance seem okay. Pink again, looking, looks good quality, good coloration. Red, again. and I like that they're all in individual bags at this level. That's that's quite good. A lot of times with games, you get them all in one bag and then you have to separate them yourselves, which is fine. But already pre bag look green, nice vibrant green. Being an all goblin game, this is green's probably going to be the one that we're fighting for. Um, orange again, nice vibrant orange colour there. I'm, I'm not seeing any any issues with the production quality of these. Uh, these are the slightly larger cubes. Um, they are in a mixed bag, which is a little bit disappointing, but there seems to be room in the in the smaller bags to put the amount. So if this is orange, and if you look at the amount of orange in here, you could easily fit those orange ones in there. Again, quality looks good. No discoloration. I'll just get one of these out just for comparison. I'll get a green one this time. Well, slightly bigger than the... Oh, there we go. Slightly bigger than the the other ones. Uh, get rid of the silicon, not need really that. Uh, and then onto the bigger cubes. Again, there's not that many of them, so you could probably fit them in with the bags of the same colour. Um, again, I'm just looking, I cannot see any obvious discoloration. One thing that does stand out with this bag is that the the different colours are very are very clear. None of the colours are um too close to the other colours to, to not be able to distinguish which one is your cube. Um, if you had that problem, uh, I'm not colour blind so I'm not sure how the, if I'm honest, the red and the green interact. Somebody else will have to, have to tell you about that. But yeah, they look good. Uh, in this bag, looks like some gems, plastic. Plastic gems. Um, yeah, standard quality of, uh, of of plastic gem, similar to to games I've played before. Uh, strange off. Oh, there we go. Strange off. Black colour, but seem seem nice enough. Again, in a separate bag. And lastly, the I think I think these are the things that are defending the castle. So, give me a moment just to get in. Struggling a bit with this one. Up oh, there we go. There we go. Obviously, nice and secure. <laughs> I struggled with that one. There we go. And we're nearly in. There we go. We're in. Bring the box back. There we go. Uh, these are a slightly thinner card. Um, I'll just get one out just to show you. Um, it's all nice and steady though. See that? Yeah. Not as thick as the other card, but. Uh, but still good, you, you won't expect them to stick because the cards that you play with. Uh, nice artwork on that side, it's some kind of, oh there we go, some kind of archer. And the other side is the castle. Nice clean art, uh, well made, doesn't look like it's going to peel off. Uh, nice steady assortment of cards. Don't want to spoil anything here, um, don't really know what they do. But there's plenty of them, all seem good quality. Same design on the back, nice and standard. These ones have got a slightly different design, 
can hold that up, so the name of the game on it. Again, nice quality. The other side we've got Tosser the Goblin Flinger. Don't know what he does, but that's that card. Again, nice artwork. Some very nice artwork if I'm honest. Oops, that's the side. Uh, but equally a bit of plastic that came off the bag. Um, there we go, all hexagonal. Um, there may be a slight cutting issue there, if I'm honest. Now I've reordered them, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Um, the middle bits of the cards are slightly out of line. Um, not majorly, not majorly, but once you get them in order, like, you can shuffle them okay. Uh, once shuffled, does that. Yeah, there's there's a slight... Um, being critical, what's it supposed to be? It's a, it's a hexagon. Um, if you're not lined the same way, it would appear that they're not quite the same... The sides aren't quite the same length. Uh, apologies if that's how they're supposed to be. Um, if you're supposed to have them in order. That probably rectifies the problem. Uh, I have some friends of mine that would insist that these cards would need to be in the right order, which I'm just going to do just for the sake of this to line them up. Uh, and yeah, yeah. Don't know if you could tell on the camera, but if you do that, um, then there's no problem. So there must be a slight difference in the length of these edges. They're not quite a true uh, hexagon. Difficult to shuffle them without them spinning slightly, if I'm honest, but I don't think it's a massive, a massive thing um, on the game. But anyway, talked about them cards enough. Same with those ones, they're all the same size. Now, now the box. So, I've got an inlay, okay, an insert. It's the bottom of the box. Nothing, <laughs> nothing hidden, didn't expect it to be. Not a, not a legacy game or an exit game. Um, so we've got, oh, if you can see that in this layer, yeah, you can. So we've got something here as a shape wise to put stuff in. I'm guessing, I'll just push one of these out. Uh, it's these hexagonal things that we looked at earlier. Yep, and if you look at that, I'll turn it that way so you can see. Uh, can you see that just there? Yep, it fits in nicely as a hexagon, so they they will line up nicely there. So it's a nice touch. And also, I think, again, on these boards earlier, I'm just gonna, gonna pop one of these out. There we go. That will fit there, and that fits nicely. So the hexagonal tiles will go underneath, and that one will fit on top. Um, I'm not sure the shape of the bottom bit of this, I apologise, I may find that out later. Um, but obviously the top section has a hexagonal, so there's a, there's a rectangular cut at the bottom, which isn't big enough to fit the um, all the all the squares in, all the cubes in it, it could possibly fit in gems like that, but it looks like it's cut for a, a card. Um, not sure about that, but then wherever you pop in there, these hexagonal ones will fit in there nicely, so that looks good there. And then I'm assuming the, the cubes and whatnot would go in here in the bags. And that's fine, I look quite like storage. The board on top, uh, Minor criticism, it is only minor. Uh, the, the box is, as you would imagine, is slightly bigger than the board, um, and there's nothing, you know, like a little raised bit on the plastic, maybe just to keep the board in place, because it will, it will move inside there. Nothing major, just just worth mentioning. On top, and everything will fit nicely in there by the looks of it. It will for this, um, so that's the, that's the game. But um, as I often do with my Kickstarter purchases, I went for the deluxe version. So in that, I got a, another bag sent to me with 
me gobs in it. So remember the game, the base game came with these, this bag of green cubes. I think these are for goblins. And you've got the goblins, ob goblins and orcs, I think, I don't know. Don't quote me on that, I'm not sure yet. Um, but in the deluxe version, uh, I was also sent these me gobs, which to replace these in the game, of the deluxe version. I'm not sure how these will fit into the box. Uh, I might have to do that after we've played a game. But these ones, instead of being a cube, still in a lovely vibrant colour, but have on them printed. There we go, we'll go closer. There you go, you can see him nicely there. Little goblin. Yep. Um, on both sides, I'll just turn that over here so you see there's no trickery. <laughs> Nicely cut out, nice design, I like that, nice print. Um, I'm just checking the bag, but from what I can see, um, they all look uniform, there's no bits left over or anything. Um, just a quick rub. I'm obviously not going to try and scrub it, because if I scrub it it will come off, but nothing, nothing on my fingers. It's a good screen printing. I did have a game once where it came with similar meeples where um, there was little bits in the bag it was like off cuts and had been cut off properly um, and they got on your hands and they were it took ages to get rid of them so in the bag similar to the colours we went through earlier uh, we have some yellow ones you can see them, the light shining slightly uh, blue Uh, orange, so a, a slightly different orange, but if you're going to be using these instead of the cubes, I don't, I don't think the colour matters too much. Um, so there's the orange cubes against the orange me gobs. Um, but as I said, is that orange? Is that red? Yeah, the, the colours are slightly different. So the, 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 I called it pink earlier for the cubes, but the the equivalent is, um, you can see it's a slightly different colour, these are slightly lighter. I don't think it's a problem, I've not played the game yet, but it's just to differentiate the player, so I don't think the, the actual colour matters, and as I said, you're going to replace the, the cubes with the, the meeples anyway. Um, these ones are slightly different, which again, I thought these were a brown player, but it looks like they're a different thing altogether, which is what's in this bag. Again, I said I don't know the rules, uh, but this is in a lot of things. This would be a wire grinder. I don't know if that's what they are in this game, but it's clearly uh, a large dog being ridden by a goblin. Again, very good quality, very nice art printed on both sides. Very close to the edge of the, um, the figure, but but fits as as all the detail on it. So that's quite good. There's a bag of those, a bag of them, which again look to be standard. Uh, and then we're moving on to the bigger items. So again, it's a, it's a mixed bag. Um, you can see the different colours in there. Just take one of these out. We'll, we'll go for green. I've been showing green of the other stuff, so. There's green, not sure, like I say, it's hobgoblin, something like that. Again, printed both sides. Very nice quality. Good, no, no overhang or anything. And some of this is a bit fiddly down where his, down where his mace is. Seems to be not much of a gap, but it's well printed. Um, as you can see, the I'll go side by side, slightly bigger. Um, same green though, very nice, pop them there, so we've got the other colours that are in here, uh, yeah, so there might, there might be a brown player, brown might be just derived dogs, I don't know, orange, so they, again, they all look nice, 
good quality, well printed. Uh, the colours match, um, if you can see very well, but the colours match the other ones, so you've got the purple or pink goblins here, and you see the ones in this bag, uh, the same colour. And then the last bag is the larger ones, which uh, the ogres, I think, trolls, not sure at the moment. Well, nice mixed bag of colours, look. I'll get a green one out again just because we've been showing you green. It's obviously a larger piece, nicely printed on both sides. Bit of a, this one isn't as fiddly as some of the others, the printing with the design of the meeple. Uh, and if I'm going to just put these on my hand in ascending order, you can see there that we've got the green. There we go, we've got the, uh, and I'll put him, got him facing that way apart from him, so let's turn him round, there we go, on my hand. Uh, so you can clearly see that they're, that they're slightly bigger, I've, I've not got the, all of them out, if I'm honest, um, but again you can see, I'll just grab, just grab this blue one, and there's the blue goblins and you can see you know, that the blue is um, is the same colour and there's a big bag of those again quick glance they all look um, nice uniform no no mistakes there so that's the goblin king is angry unboxing with the deluxe content as well I hope you uh, enjoyed that. At some point we'll be playing this game and I'll be doing a playthrough. Thank you very much.